I don't know if there's more of a failure rate in professional organizing businesses than other small businesses or solopreneur jobs, but I've seen the same frustrations in a lot of professional organizers who have left this industry. I'm now coaching new professional organizers through my courses and here at YouTube on my videos. So I thought I would share with you today three things you should consider before launching your business in hopes of making that endeavor more successful for you. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for things that truly matter. I launched my business in 2002 and was absolutely clueless on what it would take to be successful. I was fortunate to figure a few things out along the way to help me stay in business. It takes a lot more than a passion for organizing or being a tidy person to work in this business. Here are three other things that will help you along the way. First, you'll want to ask yourself, can you check your perfectionism at the door? I've met and worked with a lot of organizers and I put myself in this category too. We like things a certain way. We are often rearranging things, uh, looking for ideal or optimal solutions. We strive for perfection. And the images that we all love on Instagram or Pinterest support this image of organized homes. Then we go to help a person in a cluttered environment and we realize it's going to take a whole overhaul to get this client's home and behavior to come close to that level of perfection. Do not freak out, take a deep breath. There is still quite a bit you can do to help. First, expect that clients are nowhere near as organized as you are and meet them where they are. Getting organized is a series of small changes. Decluttering, making lots of decisions, creating the right storage, managing time better, and making habit changes are all part of the process. And your job is to help your client on this journey. Don't quit it's just because the space isn't insta worthy after the job, especially in the beginning. Next, ask yourself, can I work in messy spaces? I'm always a little worried when I'm coaching a new organizer and they say how much they hate being in messy and disorganized spaces. They just can't stand things out of order or have a weak stomach for dirty environments. So here's the thing. There is a starting point with each client that could be a bit rough. Now, you don't have to work with hoarders or work in any space that makes you uncomfortable. Uh, working in extreme clutter is a specialty and you could refer those jobs to more qualified organizers. Just keep in mind that the folks who need the most help could have the messiest homes. Those are the ones in more of a crisis and the most in need of your assistance. I actually get nervous when I walk into a client's home for the first time and it's spotless and everything is put away. I'm wondering, what am I doing here? But then they lead me to the attic, garage, closet, or spare bedroom, you know, the places that no one else gets to see, and they are in total disarray. Then I get excited and know that we have work to do. Next, ask yourself, can you consistently market your services? So this is something we all have to conquer to stay in business. Most organizers, myself included, have no background in sales before becoming professional organizers. They are teachers, corporate escapees, parents returning to the workforce, healthcare workers, and others who have a knack for organizing and a desire to help people. So what can you do? The bottom line is that you will constantly need to generate leads and interest in your services, especially in the beginning. I'm an introvert, so I market my business through strategic partnerships and attracting customers with free information, like giving workshops and phone consultations. There's no wrong way to build your business, 
Some organizers use social media sites or large in real life social circles to get their first clients. But whatever you do, you must make people aware of your services and collect fees for your time. I love creating custom marketing plans with my coaching students. Uh, you can find out how we can work together by booking a 15 minute clarity call from my website at www.myspacematters.com, the link in my Instagram bio or the description of this video. I also have a video on my YouTube channel called how to get clients for your professional organizing business or you can read the blog post on my website to help you out as well. Are you ready to launch your organizing business? Let me know in the comments below uh, what excites you or scares you most about this endeavor. And please like and subscribe for more videos on decluttering, downsizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.